Hello boys and girls, thank you so much for joining us again today. My name is Nathan Strumple, and today I want to go over our Bible passage right away. It is from Proverbs 17, verse 17. It says, a friend loves at all times. That is interesting. Are you able to love at all times? I know I'm not able to love at all times. Sometimes it's difficult. But Jesus calls us to love at all times. So, anyways, let's see if we have one of our friends here with us today. Talking about friends. Friends! Friends! Tweet! Tweet! Tweet. Oh! Hey! Oh, oh, oh! How's it going, Birdie? You're sad? What's so sad? Yes, we should always be nice and faithful, shouldn't we? I'm sorry to hear that your friend's not being nice. What happened? I was playing with a ball and they took it away and didn't let me play. They took your ball and won't let you play? That's not very nice at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you know what? What? We always have one friend who's always nice to us. One that never lets us down, and that always loves us. Do you know who I'm talking about? Uh, Jesus? Yes, I'm talking about Jesus. And in today's Sunday school lesson, we are talking about two other friends, where the one friend had a really tough decision to make. So, do you know David? Remember from our previous story of how David um, beat Goliath? Oh, yeah. Yep, this is the same David. Well, David was, after beating Goliath, was asked to come into the King Saul's court and be one of his soldiers and live in the palace with him. So, do you know what a palace is? Like a castle? Yeah, like a big, big house castle. So he was invited in to live with the king, Saul, and be one of the soldiers. Well, him and the king's son, Jonathan, became very good friends. And they would, what kind of things do you think King uh, David and Jonathan would do together? Maybe throw a ball. Maybe throw a ball. They were both in the, um, both soldiers. Hmm. So do you think they helped each other out learning to be a soldier? And maybe they practice um, sword fighting together? Mm -hmm. Do you think they practice their bow and arrows? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Do you think they laughed? I hope. Did they give each other presents, do you think? Maybe. Well, do you give your friends presents? Yes. Do you laugh and play with your friends? Uh-huh. Well, I'm pretty sure they probably would have done the same thing. Because even today, when you get older and bigger, we all like to laugh and have some fun with our friends. Mm -hmm. And the best thing about friends is you can rely on them, and they are always kind and loving, right? Yeah. But we're also sinful, right? Yeah. And sometimes even the best friends sin and get selfish and want to play with the ball all by themselves, like in your case, right? Yeah, yeah. But good thing about being friends is there's forgiveness, too. Mm -hmm. So we can forgive one another. All right, back to our story about King David, or well, not quite King yet, but David and Jonathan. Well, David and Jonathan were growing up being best of friends. Well, King Saul was starting to get jealous of David because the people were all seemed to be liking David more than they were liking Saul. Hmm. So he was gaining in popularity and King Saul was getting jealous. That, that's a tough thing. Do you get jealous sometimes? Yeah, sometimes. I do too. Sometimes it's just hard to get jealous and that's just our sinful nature 
Creep them back in, but... Yeah, some birds have a bigger wings than me, or they can, they can fly longer. I, I'm jealous of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're probably some birds. I bet you there are probably some birds, but there are probably some things that you can do that other birds can't. Like the bigger birds may not be as maneuverable as the smaller birds. Are you better at maneuvering than some birds? Yeah, sometimes. Or are you a better singer? Mm, yeah, maybe. Maybe. I bet you then some of the birds you are and some of the birds you're not. Mm -hmm. God gives us all our unique abilities. And that's the good thing. About having friends is they're unique they're not exactly like us so we can but we still have things in common though mm -hmm. right oh, yes and that is good things to have with friends is some all right so anyways Saul was getting jealous and Saul was getting really jealous that he wanted to hurt David mm. so guess what David had to go away and David went away and then Jonathan was pleading with his dad, King Saul, please, please, there's no reason to be jealous and to hurt David. So please, please calm yourself. It's okay. And so King Saul said it was, and he said he wouldn't do it again. So he invited him back in, and guess what? He got jealous again. And David had to flee again. So anyways... This could put a, quite the strain on Jonathan and David's relationship, wouldn't you think? Mm -hmm. So, because Jonathan was King Saul's son. I mean, so I'll be like, oh, my dad is really mad at my best friend. That's, mm -hmm. but I still want to be friends with this person. And it's a difficult situation for him to be in. And he doesn't want to, like, go against his dad, the let alone, you know, going against the king. Um, so he was in a tough situation of what to do. Well, he decided to love on David and to show him that love by warning David that he was in danger. And how he did this is he, he was an archer. He took his bow and arrows out into the field and he told one servant to go out into the field so he can shoot his bow and arrow. Not at the servant, just so the servant could um, see where he hit it and gather the arrows after the thing. So he came up with a plan with David and said, If I shoot past the servant, then you need to run far away because King Saul is not going to forgive you and is still going to try to hurt you. That's a good plan. So yeah, that was a way to signal David. So he took his archer out and he fired a shot. And it went way beyond the servant. So that told King David, or later King David, David, that he needed to flee from the King Saul at the time. So he did. So Jonathan made a very loving decision to help David out and tell him that he was in danger and that he needed to leave. They both wanted to be best friends forever, so they hugged each other, and they said their goodbyes and said, we will be still continue to be friends from here on out. Mm -hmm. But I imagine that was a pretty difficult time. I don't know if any of you guys have ever had a long-distance friend or a friend that moved away, but it's hard, ain't it? Yeah. It's sometimes hard to keep in touch with this friend that has moved far away. I mean, now with technology, we can actually live stream we can say hi with um zoom meetings and that type of video calls and we can actually email and text and we can even go old school and send letters in the mail yeah but it is more difficult when you're not in person and being able to play with each other all the time so i'm sure it was difficult for king or for david and jonathan as well but Jonathan and David knew that they had a really, the best friend ever that would love and take care of them no matter what. Uh -huh. You know who that was? Oh, Jesus. Oh, yes, it was Jesus. I was just making sure you were paying attention. You're doing a very good job. Okay. So, 
Now, do you did you happen to hear my Bible verse this earlier? Nothing about friends from Proverbs? Yes, Proverbs 17, verse 17 says, A friend loves all the time. Hmm. And that's what Jesus tells us to do, is love our God, and then love each other as ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, he's calling us to love everybody all the time. And yes, we are sinful, but guess what? Our best friend Jesus, that was the best at loving all the time, even though we mess up at loving, he did it, and he went all the way to the cross to pay for our mess-ups mm -hmm. and to show us ultimately how much he loves and cares for us. And that is awesome. Amen. So, let us pray to him, shall we? Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, you're my friend. You're my friend. You love me every day. You love me every day. Forgive me when I sin. Forgive me when I sin. Help me to love. Help me to love. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for my friends. Help me love them every day. Help me love them every day. Help me to be kind. Help me to be kind. And good in all I do and say. And good in all I do and say. And good in all I do and say. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys so much for joining us, and we hope to see you again next week. Ready? One, two, three. Bye! Bye. Good to have you, friends. <laughs>